How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Gasset cutting, five tips in five minutes. So a quick rundown of some of the tools of the trade here. So we have uh, cutting tools, uh, scissors work great, and a sharp knife. We have arced punches. That's arc, as in A-R-C-H, punches. And here's a versatile set of arc punches. A gasket cutter that will cut circles and radiuses. Measuring tools, of course, and that includes dividers and compasses. And then, and then hammers, ball-peen hammers. One great tool and tip is using a gasket cutter for cutting circles. Now this one I made, this one here, but there are many that are like this. It has an adjustable uh, pivot pin right here. It has a scale along here, markings, and a utility knife blade or a gasket cutting blade, uh, a sharp edge that is just barely sticking out that you can adjust the depth for. Goes in your pivot hole and you can cut circles or you could cut uh, a radius on a piece of gasket material. Excellent, excellent tool. Here's the piece that needs a gasket. I made a gasket. I used the circle cutter to cut that circle. Outside, I use scissors. Scissors are great. Look at the size of those things. And then arc punches for the holes. So what you do is you put, here's the tip, is punch one hole first. In the approximate location, slip a placeholder in there to locate your, your gasket. Something that fits real nice and close, even if it's not the right size, but it fits the hole of your piece. And then you can mark this hole and punch it. You can also cut the outside with a sharp knife. You can also lay out your work on your gasket material using a compass for circles and arc, arcs. Or a pair of dividers even to mark spacing on holes and such. And then using a nice metal scale is always handy for those measurements. Tape measure works too. Method for marking out the gasket, not necessarily cutting it out. So let's say you cut the hole in this and you laid it on there. Take a ball peen hammer. Wonderful tool for this. Get your gasket situated where you roughly want it and tap the gasket over the hole Around, tap your gasket all the way around the edges and around your then around your other hole using the ball and you'll you'll come up and it'll be perfectly marked and you can punch out your holes with your arc punches and your scissors to cut out the pattern punching holes in gaskets always use the end grain of wood some plastics materials work okay like a cutting board, uh, they'll work kind of okay, but I, the end grain of wood works the best. Piece of glue lamb be beam I've cut off. It will have less tendency to split your gasket, it, and it takes very little effort to punch that hole, and they come out just beautiful. A tip about punching holes, if it's close to the edge, you'll split your gasket sometimes. That's not what you want. So. If you left, had left a larger perimeter around here and you did all your inside work first and your hole punching and then cut the perimeter away. This is a blue point kit. And these just, there's a little o-ring here that slips on the arbor. Tap, tap. Works perfect. End grain of the wood. All right, you guys, there was at least five tips in that in this short video please subscribe and ring that notification bell and we'll be catching you in the next one